PVC doors have a lock running the length of the door as shown. If you have a PVC door, there are some telltale signs that the lock could be about to fail. Your door handle could be drooping, jamming, feel loose or make a clunking sound when operated. You may also feel you need to use unnecessary force when turning the handle and opening the door. Another telltale sign is if your keep is showing signs of wear, as shown. Yale's Doormaster Universal is an affordable and easy to fit solution for PVC doors, but you must ensure that your existing lock meets the following requirements. 1. Your handles are in line. If your handles are not in line, then you will need to purchase new inline handles with 92mm centres before fitting the Doormaster Universal. 2. Your lock has a face plate width of 16mm. 3. There must be a distance of 92mm between the centre of the handle and the centre of the lock barrel. 4. Your lock back set is 35mm or 45mm. You will need to select the correct back set variant at the time of purchase. Please note, the Doormaster Universal is only suitable for PVC doors. If your door is not made of PVC, but has a multi-point lock in need of replacement, please visit www.yale.co.uk forward slash Doormaster to locate your nearest Yale expert. To begin installation, open your door and lift the handle fully so that the locking bolts in your existing lock are out. Remove door handle screws from the internal side and remove handles and spindle. Then, remove the cylinder fixing screw and remove cylinder from door. Keep all of these items in a safe place. Next, remove fixing screws in your existing lock, making sure you leave the screws closest to the locking points. Gently pull out the lock, making sure not to disturb the draft seal on the door edge. If it won't come out easily, check you've removed the correct screws. Now, remove the fixing screws on your existing keep and remove from the door frame. Do the same for the top and bottom keeps. Insert your new Yale Doormaster Universal into the door, utilising the existing centre aperture. If your existing aperture is too small, you will need to remove some of the plastic to accommodate your new lock. If you need further advice with this, call our customer helpline. Align your Doormaster Universal so the cylinder and handle spindle holes are visible and insert your cylinder, making sure it's the correct way round. Secure the cylinder with the cylinder screw provided. Put the handle spindle through the lock and secure the handles back in place using the existing screws. Next. Secure the fixing screws in your Doormaster Universal, working from the centre outwards. If there is a gap behind one of the screw holes, the Yale Doormaster Universal has an alternative fixing option in the form of a rotating tab which can be fixed to the door as shown. If possible, use all of the fixing tabs to make sure your Doormaster is as secure as possible in the door. Check the lock functions correctly by lifting the handle fully, then depressing it fully. Next, lift the handle up fully and turn the key to deadlock. Then, turn the key to unlock and press the handle down fully. Check the latch is the right way round and if it isn't, adjust accordingly by lifting the handle upwards, removing the latch head, turning the latch tail 180 degrees then securing latch head back in place in the correct orientation. Once you are satisfied the lock functions correctly, mark a pencil line on the door edge using the centre datum line on your doormaster as a marker. Close the door and then transfer the centre datum line onto the door frame. It is vital that this mark is made as accurately as possible to ensure the rollers function correctly. Next, Slightly slacken all the adjuster screws along the length of your new keep. Ensure the keep is the right way round, as shown, then place into position, ensuring the front edge of the keep is flush with the PVC door frame and the datum line on the keep is lined up with the pencil line you've drawn on the frame. Next, 
tighten the adjuster screws to hold into position and adjust the rear grub screws to level the keep as required. Please note, in certain applications, these levelling screws are not required and can be removed and discarded. Once fully aligned and adjusted, fix the keep in place using the 16 repair screws provided. You may want to use an electric screwdriver for this. If there is a gap behind any of the screw holes, use the 2 inch screws provided to secure or do not fix in this area. You should always tighten the adjuster screws before tightening the fixing screws. If your frame is reinforced with metal, we suggest drilling a 3mm pilot hole first to enable the screws to be fitted. Close the door and check the lock latches in place. If it doesn't, adjust the latch plate on the keep and recheck. Then lift the handle to ensure the rollers and mushroom rollers operate correctly. Adjust the keep plates where required to ensure the door closes snugly into its frame, compressing the weather seal. If necessary, use the Allen key provided to adjust the rollers and or a flat headed screwdriver to adjust the mushroom rollers to ensure that the lock connects with the keep properly, no matter how large or small the gap between door and frame. Lastly, check the lock functions correctly by lifting the handle fully, then depressing it fully. Next, lift the handle up fully and turn the key to deadlock. Then turn the key to unlock and press the handle down fully. If it operates smoothly, your Yale Doormaster Universal is fitted correctly. You may also want to upgrade your handle and or cylinder during this installation. If so, please visit the How To section on www.yale.co.uk to watch our How To Fit a Yale PVCU Replacement Handle and How To Fit a Euro Profile Cylinder videos. If you need any further advice, please call our customer helpline on 0845 0710 789 or visit www.yale.co.uk forward slash doormaster.